You call that a duck? You should be such a queer. <laughs> it's a good duck, right? You. Why don't you drink some water to show yeah, you up for a minute? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Zach. This has that. been fun, my date with my miniature heartbreaker. And the big heartbreaker's getting his memory back. Let's not talk about Ryan. I don't want to jinx it. All right, up to you. You're the boss. Mm-hmm. She's the boss. Mm-hmm. Oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh. Hello? Mr. Slater, Enrico Conti. Enrico, to change your mind when you come down here? Unfortunately, that won't be possible. Oh, what do you mean? You're the boss. You can do whatever you want. I simply don't have the time, Zach. So much business to take care of here. You know how it is. And the frost destroyed our vineyards. There won't be any wine this fall. Then you should come here. Excuse me, Zach. Did your associate, Mr. Madden's voice, suddenly change? No, that was Miss Lavery. She's our, uh, our local wine expert. Really? Are you a Bordeaux girl, Miss Lavery? Uh, well, I, know, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, all over the map. But I think, you know, there's nothing better than a nice Tuscan red. Uh huh. Well, I'm partial to a nice full-bodied Chianti myself. Ah, so you're bold. A man of action, I knew that. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so. Well, might I suggest that you come and pay us a visit and try one of our modest local wines? I mean, not that it would compare with one of your wines, I'm sure, but we have this Pinot that I would compare with a, a California Cab, or dare I say, a delicate Aubryon. Really? Yeah, well, you'd have to be the judge. That is, if you happen to pay us a visit. Well, you know, I... I just might do that. So, when are you coming down? Well, I'll have to move a few things around, but... let's say next week. Okay. Looking forward to it. And I look forward to meeting you, too, Miss Lavery. Right. Of course. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Ciao, Bella, yes. What did I do? Well, you got the Donald Trump of Europe to do some business with Candius. Huh. How do you know about local Pennsylvania Reds? I used to be a waitress. Of course. They used to test us. Well, you passed this test. Nice. Flying colors. Nice. Group hug. Group hug. Mm -hmm. High five, Smiggy. High five. What do you think? Oh, Pretty good, huh? So I was okay. You were perfect. Okay. For a second there, I was scared. I stuck my foot in it. No, 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 no. You did a great job. <laughs> the man loves wine. He also loves women. He's, uh... Ah. He's a bit of a lech. Hmm. That way, but, uh... But that's okay. When he comes down, I'm gonna send you on a secret wine mission mm. to the Pennsylvania Heartland. Find that special red. So... I didn't come here to talk about him. Talk about who? Ryan. Well, I mean, I, I guess I kind of did. I... I guess I just wanted you to know because... Because of Kendall. Because I know how it felt when I woke up one day and... suddenly my husband didn't remember knowing me or... loving me or marrying me, so... I know this can't be easy for you two either. Well, we're handling it. Yeah, but come on, Zach. Ryan still thinks he's engaged to Kendall. But he's getting better, that's what you said. I'm not wrong about that. I don't know. He, um... He... Definitely seems more responsive, I guess. But? I guess I'm just kind of afraid to hope. Uh, uh, Don't be. You should hope. He loves you. And he may not remember today or tomorrow, but he will. And when he does, he's going to kick himself for missing even uh, one minute. Such an incredible woman. Uh, right? Uh, <laughs> nah. 